Welcome to VT and GT Vlogs. Today in this video, we are going to talk something technical from the headlight bulb upgrade point of view. All of us want to have best of results from headlight upgrade and many a times we do not get the desired result after spending lots of money on it. Many a times we have seen guys fit in the LEDs or HIDs in their car and the light gets scattered or gets accumulated at one point. What could be the reason behind it? In this video, we are going to touch the points that we need to take care while upgrading from regular halogen bulbs to HID or LEDs. First, let's learn a bit about the type of headlights on our vehicles. There are usually two types of headlights, traditional reflector type and another one is the new projector type. First, the reflector type uh, headlight. Reflector type is the one where light reflects from the walls of the headlight assembly and then thrown on the then is thrown on the road. As shown in the image here, you can see the light is emitted from the filament of the bulb that is at the center in red, and it is scattered towards the reflector where it is getting reflected multiple times and getting and is getting thrown out of the like the headlight assembly. This is the ref red, uh, reflector type headlight. Second type is the projector type. Here as in the image as you can see, projector type is the one where light is emitted by bulb filament reflected to the elliptical reflector of the projector and then from one focus point it is projected through the lens on the road. In the image you can see the plate shield at the center which which like uh, stops the light getting in the different direction and it keeps the focal point at its place and through the refract uh, the projector lens the light is getting properly directed towards the road this is how the projector uh, headlight work so what is there for the bulb over here the main point is bulb is everything here Companies spend thousands and thousands of dollars on creating headlights. Also, there are R&D department in the companies where engineers work on to make best of the light reflectors. So they first decide on the bulb and then move towards the reflector designing. Placement of the bulb on the uh, placement of the filament on the bulb is very crucial. As in the image below, if you can see the filament for the extreme left image the filament is behind the focal point of the reflector what is happening over here is light is getting reflect mul reflected multiple times through the reflector and is getting divert divergent like it is getting scattered all over the place in this extreme right image where we have the filament placed in the front of the focal point like it is not at the point where the focal point is it is getting reflected multiple times through the reflector and it is coming to the one point and getting diverted like that so that it is not getting spreading up in a proper way so the filament which is at the proper focal point of the reflector as in this uh, image at the center the light is getting reflected here also but is at the back as because the filament is at the position of the focal point the light is getting reflected properly and is thrown as desired through the reflector so when we say in like the way we have our in our car assembly usually you get either two lights at now the new cars has the two lights where one like light is just for the low beam usually they are providing the projectors and one beam uh, one uh, barrel is for the high beam which is a reflector time and uh, if you have a proper light with proper filament position in those projectors or reflectors you avoid, uh, the light won't scatter or won't create uh, some uh, bunch of like where the light is focusing a lot and it is not getting uh, properly spread up on the road so this is this is where the point where the light comes into the picture and the placement of the filament of the light so the engineers those who work on the reflector they do take care they first decide on the light that's why we have the multiple type of lights and the multiple fitment of the light that are available in the market 
the way when you have single beam working on in one reflector they put in h7 lights and when there are multiple like when you have the high beam and low beam on single barrel in the single uh, reflector type of headlight they put in h4 cause the position of the filament is different in those cases and also there are different type of fitments like h8 h11 the way we have it for the fogs that's why i made sure while putting the h 11 in place of H8 with where H11 is the brightest compared to H8 I just made sure that the reflector uh, uh, the filament of that light is in the same place of that of H8 so that's how when matching the lights would help further ahead I am telling how I have compared the LED light with the uh, uh, halogen light that I have and that's what's the plan moving ahead so while selecting a different bulb or a light other than the halogen type for the headlight it is very important to make sure the light is a perfect match to the halogen bulb and the light emit, em, emitting filament it as is at the same length or is placed at the same point as you can see the filament of this bulb right now of this halogen bulb so while getting this led light for my car what I did is I did compare it with the halogen bulb. So as you can see in this video, the filament of my H7 bulb is at the same length. Like the I would rather say the chip of my LED light is at the same position or at the same height when compared to the halogen bulb. There is no mismatch. I, we have a bigger chip that would be emitting light in our like in the reflector or projector wherever we fit it and it would be matching up with the, the the focus and everything that would be there in the reflector as we have already seen the reflector the position of the filament or the light emitting chips or the uh, or the point from the HIDs matters a lot we are planning to put this LED lights in the projector fitment which is for the low beam of my rapid and will be showing like creating a video for the same and would be showing that uh, posting that in this channel also we are planning to for some giveaways it's a good news for our subscribers who all th those who all have subscribed or planning to subscribe our video would be getting a giveaway soon coming up soon from from our channel hope you like this video and check the bulbs before purchasing those I would suggest that. Happy riding. Do not forget to subscribe our channel and hit the like button. Thank you.